this quilt behind me, I'm making another one for a friend. And while I'm at it, I want to show you how we organize, how I organize my work. Uh, you've just seen me make a cheat sheet, all right? And I use that to cut out all my fabrics. Now I'm ready to sew. Look at my notes right here, and it shows me how to put my two pieces together. I'm going to do that. I'm going to lay this out like this right here, just the way it looks here. And then I'm going to lay the next one on so it looks like this right here. And, okay, take a look now. This is what I'm this is what I'm looking for right here. And this is what I have right here. Matches. That's the thing. Does this match this? Okay. This is much better. You can see better now. What I've done, you were with me when I did this, all right? is I set this up for sewing so it would look like this right there. Now, I'm going to sew it. Take this out and open it up and compare it. Does it actually look like that? Yep, it does. Okay, you've got that shape right there, just like this and just like that. Okay, so we know it's right. That's the important part. We'll put this aside. Now, knowing this one is right, what I'm going to do is, this is the way I sewed it. So I'm going to lay this whole pile out just like this. I'm going to put that here. And then I'm going to lay this whole pile upside down just like this. So all I have to do now to make sure they're all right is I lay this over here and I call that my go-by. This is the one that I go by to make sure everything else is right. So I'm going to pick up one of these, and by the way, shake it all out so that you can pick them up easily. Same thing here with this one. Okay. I'm going to take this one, and this just goes right on here like this. No problem. And I just keep doing that. See? No mistakes. And I know that they all look like this one right here as they go through. And I'm stringing them all together. Oops. Okay. Take this one. Put it on here. Okay. You know what? Why don't you go have a cup of coffee while I finish a whole string of these? Finish up this whole string right here. Now this will be the first one. Snip them apart. Snip them apart. Notice I'm stacking them while I snip that apart. There. All stacked. Ready for the next step. Okay. We're ready to iron now. Oh, press. Okay, so we want to press towards the dark, which means that I'm going to be setting them up like this. So I'm going to turn them all over like that. Now I'm ready to press. I just take this and I move along there 
put this one right here not on don't put the seams on top of each other put the seams next to each other so they don't build up and I just keep going like this and the whole thing when I'm all done they're stacked and ready for the next step The neat thing about this is while you're pressing this one, you're repressing all of those too. So they're in perfect order now. Okay, now we're ready for the next step, which is putting these two together, just like this. So let's take these and set them up. Let's take these and set them up like this. All right, take a different one and set it up like this. Oh, okay. We've got it. Looks just like that. And the neat thing about it is since we press towards the dark, these are going to nest. Okay, let's put this away. Hold this over like this. And then what I like to do is match up this right up here at the quarter inch. Glasses help. And start sewing. Now I come down and I match these. I can feel them. Okay, I feel that they're really matched. If everything comes out right, these should come out. If you've cut perfectly, those should come out pretty good. Oh, my seam is good. All right. All right. So this is now my go by. So I'm going to take these, I'm going to set them up like this, and I'm going to take these and set them up like this and then all I have to do is <laughs> put this one over on this one and I'm ready to sew and I'll sew them again together all in the line and then I have my blocks all made and lined up okay this is good This is good down here. Take the next one and just string them along just like I did before. All right. Oops. So that's how I organize my work. Now, it's all stacked up ready to press and I've got my blocks nice and neat and again because I have a go by no mistakes and it goes faster hope this helped happy quilting bye